Hello, welcome to Evanson Academy. Uh, we are discussing uh, linear equation in two, and this is lecture number 10. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 9 before watching part 10. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems, uh, and that problems will be uh, on the basis of uh, cross multiplication. So, let us start some, to solve some problems. And uh, question is given like uh, question number 3, uh, starting from 3 only because the uh, rest of the two questions have been discussed in the previous lecture. So here the question is solve the following pair of linear equations. Solve the following exercise 3.5 is there. Solve the following pair of following pair of linear equation. Linear equation. by substitution and cross multiplication method by substitution and cross multiplication method substitution and cross multiplication method and cross multiplication method multiplication method right so the question is 8x plus 5y is equal to 9 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. So first I am going to solve this question with substitution method. Substitution method and thereafter we will discuss cross multiplication as well. So in substitution method these are the two equations. So from first or from second even from second we can write 2y is equal to 2y is equal to 4 minus 3x and therefore y is equal to y can be written as 4 minus 3x divided by 2 this is equation third right now putting in first putting substitution this value in first we will get substituting this value substituting the value of y value of y in equation first we will have we will get y in first one that is 8x plus 5y is equal to 9 so we can write 8x plus 5 times of y is 4 minus 3x upon 2 that is equal to 9. So that will be 8x plus um, this is 5 4 is 20 minus 15x and whole divided by 2 is equal to 9. So further it can be written as taking LCM that will be 16x plus 20 minus 15x and whole divided by 2 and that will become this side it will be 18. So 16x minus 15x is x and this 20 will come this side so 18 minus 20 that is minus 2. So x is minus 2 now from third we have y is equal to 4 minus 3x by 2 so <coughs> that will be 4 minus 3 into minus 2 divided by 2. 4 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 5. So therefore x is equal to 5 and y x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 5 is the solution. x is equal to <coughs> and y is equal to y is equal to 5 and x is equal to that is x is equal to minus 2 is solution. Now looking for cross multiplication method. So cross multiplication method is what? Cross multiplication. Multiplication method. So for this we can write it <coughs> 
the equation is given here that uh, 8x plus 5y is equal to 9 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. So 8x plus 5y, fx plus 5y is equal to 9 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. So if I can write here by cross multiplication x then minus y and then 1 then what will happen? This one cancels and 5 4 are 20 minus 18. Right? So that can be if you want to make it like this then can be written as minus 9 is equal to 0 and that is minus 4 is equal to 0. So it will be 5 4 are minus 20 and plus 18. Right now, minus of minus 18 that is plus 18. Y will be 8 4 are 32 minus minus 27 that is plus 27. Right now, 9 3 are 27. And if I 1, right 1, if this is covered, then 8 2 are 16 minus 15. 16 minus 15. So finally, it will come like uh, here. We can write it. What? It will be x upon minus 2. That is y upon. This is minus 5, but due to this negative sign, it will be 5. And here 1. 1 upon 1 is 1. And so clearly from first and third, there is first, second and third. We can write from first and third. From first and third, what is that? x is equal to minus 2 and from second and third we can write from second and third y is equal to 5. So the same solution is there x is, x is minus 2 and y is equal to 5 is the solution. Is the solution. Right? So we can have again this one. That will be the solution. <coughs> now, uh, let us solve question number 4. And question number 4 is there. From, form the pair of linear equation. Form the pair of linear equation. Pair of linear equation. Form the pair of linear equations in the following in the following following problems and find their solution. Problems and find their solution. Their solution. Right now, find their solutions. If any, <coughs> if they exist. If they exist by any algebraic method, by any algebraic method. So here it is a liberty that we can use any one of the method. Right? So the first question which is given here is a part of monthly hostel charges. <coughs> a part of monthly hostel charges is fixed. Monthly hostel charges is fixed. Charge is fixed. And remaining depends upon the number of days. And remaining depends upon depends upon the number of days number of days one has taken food in the mess one has taken <coughs> food in the mess in the mess right <coughs> Who
food in the mess. When a student ate food for 20 days, when a student takes a takes food for 20 days, food for 20 days. She has to pay. She has to pay rupees one thousand. A rupees one thousand. Hostel charges. Hostel charges. Right. Whereas, whereas a student B. A student B who has taken food for 26 days, who has taken food for 26 days, 26 days, pays rupee 1180 as postal charges, as postal charges. Charges. Find the fixed charges and the cost of food per day. Find <coughs> the fixed of find the cost of find the fixed charges charges and cost of food per day and cost of food per day. <coughs> and cost of food per day. Cost of food per day. Right? This is a question. So, clearly here there are two variables and you can understand this that there is a postal charges, fixed charges and cost of food per day that we have to calculate. So in solution we will first assume <coughs> solution let fixed charges let cost of food Let cost of food per day per day each rupees x and fixed charges fixed charges each rupees y. <coughs> so for A students, twenty days food cost twenty x plus fixed charges y that is rupees one thousand. And for B students, 26x for 26 days food cost and fixed charge is Y that is 1180. This is first and this is second. If I would subtract from second minus first, second minus first, <coughs> then we will have 26x minus 20x is 6x, six y, y cancel is equal to 180. And therefore, x is equal to 30. Now, putting the value of x, the value of x in 1, in 1, we get 20 into x is 30 plus y is equal to 1000. And therefore, y is equal to 1000 minus 600, isn't it? 1000 minus 600. <coughs> 1000 minus 600 that is rupees 400. So fixed charge, therefore, we can say fixed charge, fixed hostel charge, fixed hostel charge, charge A rupees 400 and Cost of food, cost of food per day, per day is rupees 30. 
I hope you got it. <coughs> Okay, next question. Next question is there, and uh, the question is part two. Second part of the question is given here. A fraction becomes a fraction becomes becomes 1 by 3 when 1 is subtracted when 1 is subtracted subtracted from the numerator from the numerator, numerator and it becomes and it becomes <coughs> 1 by 4 when it is added, it is added to its added to its denominator. Denominator. Find the fraction. Find the fraction. So in fraction, everybody knows that there are two parts, one is numerator and another is denominator. So in solution, we can write, let fraction be, <coughs> fraction is x by y, numerator and denominator. Now according to question, it becomes 1 by 3 when 1 is subtracted from numerator. So according to question, if x minus 1 upon y is equal to 1 by 3. So that will be y is equal to 3x minus 3. This is question 1. Again, it is also given second condition that if 8 is added to denominator, it will be 1 by 4. So 4x is equal to y plus 8. And uh, this is second equation. If I will put the value of y here, so substituting the value of y the value of y in second we get what 4x is equal to in place of y we can write 3x minus 3 plus 8 so 3x will come this side so it will be x and 8 minus 3 is 5 so x is equal to 5 and from first from first y is equal to 3x minus 3 that is 3 into 5 to 3 minus 3 is 12 so x is 5 and y is 12 and therefore fraction is <coughs> x by y is 5 by 12 that would be the answer I hope you got it ok the next question is next question is <coughs> yes, a score for T marks. <coughs> Fourth part. Yes, a score for T marks in a test. For T marks in a test. Yes, a score for T marks in a test. Getting three marks for. <coughs> getting three marks for each right answer for each right answer and losing one marks losing one marks one mark <coughs> for each wrong answer for each wrong answer which wrong answer <coughs> had four marks been awarded for each correct answer had four marks been awarded been awarded 
फॉर इच करेक्ट आंसर फॉर इच करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर एंड टू मार्क्स वाज डिडक्टेड टू मार्क्स वाज डिडक्टेड फॉर इच रॉन्ग आंसर डिडक्टेड फॉर इच रॉन्ग आंसर फॉर इच इनकरेक्ट आंसर इनकरेक्ट आंसर दैट इज रॉन्ग आंसर देन यस वुड हैव अ स्कोर देन यस वुड हैव अ स्कोर वुड हैव अ स्कोर 50 marks 50 marks right how many questions were there in the test how many questions were in the test were in the test it is assumed that he has attempted all the questions you know then only this questions will be technically correct otherwise it will be incorrect might be possible that some questions he has not taken not answered even so there is no right or wrong so uh, there are two variety of uh, answer one is correct answer incorrect answer and another is <coughs> one is incorrect answer and another is correct answer so we will have the two situation one is incorrect that is incorrect and second one is correct so let he has a correct x correct and y incorrect so let us assume that he has solution <coughs> let yes has x correct answer correct answer and y incorrect answer incorrect that is wrong answer in the test in the test right so what will happen <coughs> so according to question <coughs> for each correct answer 3x and for each correct answer minus 1 so y incorrect answer minus y marks and that is equal to 40 marks this is what given in the question that for each correct answer 3 marks and each correct incorrect minus 1 marks meaning means negative marking so minus 1 that is y and again it is given that if he will uh, have uh, for each correct um answer 4 marks then 4x and each correct or incorrect minus 2 in that case we will get 50 marks so <coughs> i can use uh, divide this by 2 so that would be 2x minus y is equal to 25 isn't it say this is 3 now first minus third is equal to first minus third what will happen 3x minus y is equal to 40 and 2x minus y is equal to 25 so if i would subtract them what will happen sign will change minus plus minus in that case y y cancel 3x minus 2x is x and 40 minus 25 is 15 so x is 15 putting the value of x putting the value of x value of x in um first equation first we get x is 15 so 3 in 15 is 45 3x minus y is 40 so 3 in 15 is 45 minus y is equal to 40 and therefore 45 minus 40 is equal to y and hence y is equal to 5 therefore y is equal to 5 so he has uh, clearly yes has 15 correct answer and 5 is correct answer yes has 15 correct 
correct and 5 incorrect incorrect so therefore total question total question is equal to 15 plus 5 that is 20 answer now let us discuss question number 4 message a and b are b are write down 100 kilometer <coughs> apart on a highway on a highway one car starts from a one car starts from a and another from b and another from b from b at the same time at the same time right if the car travels if the car travels travels <coughs> in the same direction in the same direction direction at different speed at different speed speeds they meet in 5 hour they meet in 5 hour hours if they travel towards each other if they travel towards each other each other they meet in hour one hour find the what are the speeds of two car what are the speeds of what are the speeds of two car two cars so there is a question that uh, a city is 100 kilometer away from each other a and b are 100 kilometer apart let the speed of first car is x kilometer per hour and the speed of second car at b is y kilometer per hour y kilometer per hour it is given in the question uh, that if they are in same direction that is same direction same direction means this one and they meet in 5 hour so in same direction if they will move that is uh, same direction if they will move then they will meet in 5 hour how is that uh, this is possible if and only if A moves faster than B right so if they are moving in same direction that is the speed of b is here in this direction and a also moving in this direction so in that case uh, they will meet in high power right so this is uh, what a will move and uh, this is what b but of course the speed of b is faster than uh, speed of a is faster than b then only they can meet otherwise they can't fit right so <coughs> here a and b are in same direction then distance traveled by a uh, a will be more than distance traveled by b so in that case distance traveled by a according to question h 5 x and this distance is equal to distance traveled by b plus 100 kilometer that is 5y plus 100 kilometer so we can write it uh, x is equal to y plus 20 this is the first equation if they are moving in opposite direction in that way what will happen if they are moving in opposite direction that is this if b is travel towards this direction and uh, a is travel in Opposite direction. Opposite direction means 
<coughs> B moving towards A and A moving towards B. In that case, what will happen? B is moving in this direction and A is moving in this direction. Then what will happen? In that case, they will meet in one hour. So distance traveled by A in one hour is what? Distance traveled by A in one hour is X kilometer per hour means uh, X kilometer in one hour and distance traveled by Y is Y kilometer in one hour and that distance must be equal to 100. So this is equation 2. Right? This is equation 2. So if I am looking for This is a second equation solution. So I can put value of x here and x will be y plus 20 plus y is equal to 100 and that will be 2y is equal to 80 and y is equal to 40 km per hour. y is 40 that is 40 km per hour. Putting the value of y in 1 <coughs> now putting the value of y in 1 we get y is equal to 40 plus 20 x is y plus 20 x is y plus 20 and that will be 40 plus 20 is equal to 60 kilometer per hour so a speed of two cars are 60 kilometer and 40 kilometer respectively the speeds of two cars are 60 kilometer and 40 kilometer per hour and 40 kilometer per hour that will be the answer now there is a question question number five the area of rectangle the area of rectangle of a rectangle you get a reduced reduced by 9 square units if the length is reduced by 5 unit if the length is reduced is reduced by 5 unit reduced by 5 unit and breadth is increased by 3 unit and breadth each increased by 3 units. <coughs> if we increase the length by 3 units, if we increase the length by 3 unit, 3 unit and the breadth by two unit by two unit the area increased by 67 square unit the area increased by 67 square unit increased by 67 square unit a square unit okay Find the dimension of the rectangle. Find the dimension, dimension of the rectangle. Of the rectangle. This is what question. So we can deal with this question. Like let length be length be L and breadth is and breadth is B. So area will be LB. Area is length into breadth. Area of rectangle. A rectangle is length into breadth. So LB. Now according to question, <coughs> the first condition is given. See here what? The area get reduced reduced by 9 square unit if length is reduced by 5 and breadth is increased by 3 
length reduced by 5 means L by minus 5 and breadth increased by 3 units and B plus 3 isn't it? then area will be L minus 5 into B plus 3 and that area reduce 9 unit than original area so this area is 9 less than the original area right now original area is LB and that will be 9 less so here we can write 9 L into B LB plus 3 L minus 5 B minus 15 is equal to LB minus 9 LB LB cancels 3L minus 5B is equal to 15 will come this side it will be 15 minus 9 that is 6 this is equation 1 again in the same condition it is given here uh, now look at this if we increase the length by 3 unit and breadth by 2 unit both are increased then area increased by 67 so length increased by 3 and breadth increased by 2 it means again on the basis of second condition what is that L plus 3 and B breadth plus 2 then that will be area increased by 67 original area was LB and now it will be LB plus 67 so in that case what will be the next equation L into B is LB plus 2L plus 3B plus 6 is equal to LB plus 67. LB and LB cancels out. So 2L plus 3B is equal to 61. 6 will come this side. It will be negative. Now solving these two. Uh, how to solve? By substitution method or elimination method. If I can write here from first. From first. If I will write here from first. What will happen that uh, 3L is equal to 6 plus 5B. 3L is equal to 6 plus 5B and therefore L is equal to 6 plus 5B upon 3. So putting in second, now putting in second, substituting, substituting, Substituting the value of value of L, if I put the value of L in second, that will be two times of two times of L is six plus five B by three plus three B is equal to sixty one. And this employee six to ja twelve plus ten B and three three ja nine B and LCM will be three. So that will multiply this side and it will be 10B plus 9B is 19B is equal to this is 183 minus 12 and hence 19B is equal to 171 and B is equal to 9 and from third if you put B is equal to 9 any measure you will get it 9 3 ja 27 or if you put b here 9 then 9 5 ja 45 plus 6 51 and 51 by 3 so l is equal to 51 by 3 that is 17 51 by 3 that is 17 so therefore length is what length is 17 unit and breadth is 9 unit that will be the answer I hope you got it so hopefully you got this solution and this is the complete of this solution of this exercise see you in the next session and then bye bye God bless.